Let me show you the operating system. The A option can be used to select all processes, and the L option will print each member of the list in a long format. The list is much longer than the screen will hold, so I'll pipe it through more. There it is. At the very top, process number one is the init process that I talked about earlier as being the one that starts everything. As long as it stays running, Linux stays up. The other processes with single digit PIDs are other parts of the operating system. The two and three digit PID numbers have been assigned to daemon processes that are started from the shell scripts that we looked at in init.d. There are lots of processes on this system. Notice the processes toward the bottom of the list, the ones named HTTPD. The D stands for daemon, lots of daemons are named this way. This is the Apache web server. I have some web pages on this machine that I serve to other machines on my local network. I find having my own local website is quite handy. Mainly I keep my own web pages with links to other places that I visit a lot like VTC. I use a link in my local web page to go to the VTC forums once a day to check whether you've posted a question or a comment for me. Now let's take a look at the headings in this long format again. The first column, the one with the F heading, is three octal digits containing process flags. No flags are set for these two processes, but flags can be set to indicate exceptional situations, such as a process that is in the midst of exiting or dumping an image of itself to a core file. If you want all the details, take a look at the PS Man page. The second column, the one with the S heading, is the stat column that I described earlier. The column with the heading UID contains the ID of the user that started the process running. Each process has a user ID just like each file does. The PID you know. The PPID is the PID of the parent process of this process. Every process except init has been started by another process. That is, every process except init has a parent process. And the PPID is the PID of that parent process. If you want, you can list all the running processes in the long format and trace the heritage through the successive process ID numbers. This heritage will always lead back to the init process, the one that starts everything. There's more about starting processes coming up soon. The heading PRI is the priority of the process and the NI heading is the NICE level. The priority of a process is pretty much set by the operating system, but the NICE level is an adjustment to the priority level and it's something that you can set when you start a process running by using the utility called NICE. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are dozens and dozens of bits of information that you can get PS to report to you. Take a look at the PS Man page and you'll see what I mean. There is more information available on running processes than a sane person would ever want to know. Not only can you specify exactly what information you would like, but you can also specify its exact layout and the sorting order.